A group of rebel fighters moves into position on a hillside in eastern Myanmar. They start to assemble a fixed-wing drone, one of the most potent weapons in their fight against Myanmar's military government. When we're fighting on the front line, our drone team is the first to enter the area. It has many positive effects on the ground attack. We can fly discreetly into enemy territory and over their bases. A small commercial drone is launched. This is the scout. Soon they're hovering over a Myanmar army position. The soldiers below, oblivious to the threat. The attack drone is loaded with munitions and launched into the sky. Using the remote, they maneuver into position. The scout drone films the target. Puffs of smoke as the bombs hit their mark. The unit was put together to challenge the superiority of Myanmar's military in the air. And they found their inspiration in a different conflict far away. When we were assigned the drone mission, we were incredibly inspired by the Ukrainian forces during their war. We were inspired by their use of drones to attack tanks. Hidden deep in jungle camps, they're using surprisingly high-tech solutions to adapt designs for hobbyists into building attack drones. With the resources scarce, they're limited to basic building materials, wood and polystyrene, but on 3D printed frames. To produce this Liberator Mark II, we use 3D printing and molding to create a basic frame. Then our design is printed out and we use resin to mold the entire body. Myanmar's military has also been bolstering its power in the sky. Attack helicopters and fighter jets on display at this year's Military Day Parade. With ground troops facing stubborn resistance, they're unchallenged in the air. That power has been used to its full effect since the military coup. This village in Sagang was attacked by military helicopters in April. A legitimate target, they said. More than 150 people were killed and dozens of children amongst the dead. The rebels are all too aware their homemade drones will have little impact on the gunships and fighter jets, but they say it's the best they can do. And now they also have the ability to strike from the skies. Tony Chang, Al Jazeera.